So I'm here with Michael Bone. Did I say correctly? Sure. Yeah. Okay, Mike Bond. Um, and what like twenty patterns? Like, are you serious? Like, I've never met someone with twenty patterns in my life. Never. So, uh, one thing like uh, I want to ask you. Well, actually, there's three things, but two. I'll ask you two for now. Okay. Um, one is what three things? Okay. Uh, that you know for sure works to get the ideas out into the real world. To get ideas into the real world. Yeah. Um, I think probably the biggest thing would be if you have an idea, whether it's for a product or just anything you want to do, is just start. Just start. Just basically do anything to start. Um, a lot of people tend to uh, get into what you might call analysis paralysis, where they'll just overthink things and second guess their ideas. And I think the best thing to do is just do something, do anything. So. Even little teeny tiny steps towards getting anything done uh, eventually add up to getting things completed. And I think the second thing would be to uh, uh, probably just focus on the endpoint. So it's it's easy to get overwhelmed with all the things that could happen and might happen and should happen and all things you need to do. But you know, look for your long term goal, focus on that, and again, just try to make steady progress towards the end goal. Okay, so first one is to start. Yep, second, start, do anything. And second point is to focus on the end goal. Yep. Right? Yep. And then... Let's say uh, probably the third thing is uh, uh, to get uh, validation from other people. Uh, I wouldn't overdo it on the validation, but um, uh, it, it's very easy to fall in love with your idea. And so in your head, an idea can be the best thing in the world. Mm -hmm. And for you, a specific person it might be. But for a bigger audience, it may not be the, the thing that they need or want. And right. so by just sharing your idea with as many people as you can and get as much feedback as you can, you'll probably learn uh, little things along the way. And, um, you know, sometimes a little nugget of what people tell you turns into, um, you know, something even bigger than what you ever expected. All right. Uh, how do you validate your ideas? Uh, Depends on, it depends on what the idea is. You know, for me, uh, in the product design world, uh, mm -hmm. sometimes it's a prototype. prototype. Uh, just It doesn't have to be pretty, just to show basic functionality. Uh, in other cases, maybe just sketch something up on paper, you know, maybe right, do a, a quick present, you know, not really a presentation, but just kind of create an image of it and show what it is and how it's used and what kind of value it delivers to people. Right. And don't try to... Don't try to uh, uh, don't try to uh, give people too much information about what it is and what it does. Like let them tell you what they think, oh. as opposed to like leading them in a certain direction. So maybe just give them a really short, concise description of what you think it is and what the idea is, and then let them give you their reaction. So don't like. Over explain it, like let them explain it to you, and I think that's where you can get the, the best, oh, most valuable okay. information. That's, yeah, that's something very new. I've never heard that before. Thanks so much. Uh, how would you like describe yourself? Like I said, product design product. Uh, like how would you like? It's also yeah, an entrepreneur, well, of course. A, yeah, so I have a uh, small company in the United States called Axon Engineering, and uh, I provide engineering and product development consulting services, and I help anybody from entrepreneurs who just have an idea and want to get it to a stage that they can put out in the world and start to validate, uh, all the way up to big fortune. 100 companies who need assistance uh, developing products, typically hardware, and getting them on the market. So uh, my experience and my company help out with that in many different ways. Subscribe, why don't you?